time today. Before the video on the screen you're looking at plays in full, listen to these chilling words from Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters. Quite frankly, I am shocked that no one was killed in this. Watch now as 12 seconds of terror unfolded a little before 2 a.m. Sunday. Eunice witnessed multiple gunshots fired by multiple people at the end of a typical bar hopping night on Main Street and over the Rhine. This is absolutely, absolutely inexcusable in our city. Cincinnati Mayor Aftab Purival joined Dieters and Interim Police Chief Teresa Fiji during a news conference to announce the arrest of two men, 34-year-old Jarvis Barnes and 29-year-old Diablo McCoats. This is some kind of petty turf thing that they had a beef about and they put innocent people's lives in jeopardy by doing this. Nine people, including McCoats, were hit by bullets. In this frame, Dieter says you can see a light on the gun McCoats used. Across the street, watch as Dieter says Barnes fires a handgun while taking cover behind a car. Both suspects have extensive criminal records and each could spend more than 80 years in prison if convicted in connection with last weekend's mass shooting. If you think you can do this in Cincinnati and get away with it, you have the wrong city. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's possible a third person who's not yet been identified was involved in last week's uh, last weekend's mass shooting. That part of the investigation continues, but there is praise for that Cincinnati police officer, Joe Shook, who fired his weapon, hitting one of the suspects. Dieter saying the officer's actions uh, may have stopped, quote, an absolute massacre. Reporting live tonight in Over the Rhine, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Todd, that video chilling, especially the gunman just shooting wildly over the car without even aiming. You're there on Main Street where it happened the other night. Uh, talk about the people who spend a lot of time down there. What are they saying about what happened? Well, Mike, you know, there's obvious re relief that there are now two suspects who are staying at the Justice Center now behind bars. But there are questions about what comes next. And I can tell you with the Bengals having a home preseason game tomorrow night and then FC Cincinnati, a big game Saturday night. Lots of people expected to be down here over the weekend. Police already out. I was out earlier today with my colleague, videographer Brandon Ube. We saw uh, police putting up signs like this one on this stretch of Main Street saying no parking Friday and Saturday night. Uh, until the end of the year. So a pretty extreme measure, but the goal there is to just give, clear out the spacing here, let officers have a little more mobility, visibility. So that's one step. And again, they're going to be taking more steps. More force will be present here this weekend, you can be sure. Mike? Todd Dykes leading the way. Breaking news, two arrests today. Thanks so much, Todd. And remember, police still looking.